look at my hair. Looks like, <laughs> looks like a, a big tail. <laughs> oh. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go Where you fall down Where you What? Did daddy go outside? Where'd he go? What? What happened? Babe? Why is he sobbing? Oh, I thought I thought you left. Mm -mm. What? You don't want us to leave, little Nini. You don't want us to leave. Oh, you just so cute. I'm gonna miss you too. There's little Nini right here. You wanna see Uncle Gage? Where's Uncle Gage? Is he coming? Where's he at? I think he's on his way. Coffee? Oh, yeah. My hair looks nuts. I need a haircut. Yes. What are the other words to that song? I don't know. Hmm. I want you. But I bought this stuff from Coffee Bean. Is bomb. If you, you drink really Coffee that. Bean. Nope. But the thing is, you have to use one of these to mix it, otherwise you get a lot of chunkies. I think that's how they do it at Coffee Bean. Molly uses sugar-free sugar -free French vanilla. Ooh, that's a tongue twister, because that's what her grandma used to. Molly told me that when she was younger, she used to stay at her, when she would stay at her grandma's, her grandma would give her coffee, but it'd be like this much coffee and this much cream. My girl. She is literally the biggest crybaby in the entire world. I tried to say that five times. Stu Stewie's literally the most crybaby. What? Dogs are so spoiled, but they're smart because they watch Sesame Street all day, <laughs> all day long. Uh, uh, uh. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? Okay. Wow. When we come back, we're gonna quiz you on. Bedtime stories. Wow, look how awesome. That voice, babe. <laughs> it is time to get ready for bed. Oh, I'm ready for bed. Ready for bed. Ready for bed. I am ready for bed. So we just saw something on Instagram by Gay Times, which is one of our favorites. They did a really fun post, so I thought I would read it. Nine reasons why there doesn't need to be a straight pride, because apparently it needs explaining. Number one, straight cis people aren't being murdered for being straight. Number two, straight cis people can travel without fear of being straight. It's true. But that's something that we come across all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. All the time. Especially traveling traveling overseas. overseas. Yeah. Oh man. Or even just in the States. Like to some I mean there's you know some some places state. where we go that you know Jekyll walked are, out of, walked out of the bathroom one time and was like I thought I was just about to get beat up. There was these guys that were like saying stuff to me. It's just it, unnecessary. Okay. Number three, straight cis people have always been able to legally marry. That is very true. Luckily, we're we starting to win, and Jack and I are married. Number four, straight cis people have never been jailed for being straight. It's very true. Number five, straight cis people aren't called sinners for being straight. <laughs> Ooh, that one got me. Number six, straight cis people don't face heterophobia at work. With laws on workplace discrimination still not widespread, queer people still need to decide whether to be their authentic selves in their careers. So sad. Yeah. There's nowhere that stops straight people from working because they're straight. Not even gay times. <laughs> Honestly, why it took me so long to come out because I was so scared that people wouldn't hire me as an actor anymore to play straight. 
when I had been doing it for so many years and they didn't know, but then suddenly like I come out and I was just scared that people wouldn't believe that I could act straight. I don't know. Um, I would. I was scared I was gonna be turned down, um, but I haven't. So, what does me like? What does who I love have to do with how well I can work or how well I can do the job? You know what I mean? Right. Like. Or you know, I'm not judging you for going to bed with. Who you go to bed with? Do you know what I mean? Or like, like a, like a, like for a boss or a manager right. or whatever. Like, like why would you ask anybody that? Like, okay, like so somebody who, who do you who do you sleep with before I hire you? Like, I just want to know. Number seven, straight cis people see themselves all across popular culture, and it's very true. Perpetuated in just about every mainstream narrative, the myriad experiences of straight people are literally impossible to ignore. True. The same can be said for us, which is why we, which is why we lose our shit at the very rumor of queer characters and anything. It's so true. Like all of us in like the LGBTQ plus community, when we hear there's a queer character, everyone's like, oh, let's go gay. <laughs> Number eight, straight cis people don't have to correct people on pronouns. Like that one's pretty self-explanatory. Number nine is straight people aren't denied medical help for being straight. That one was tough when I was first getting ready to go in for surgery and all this stuff. Like we obviously were already in the process of getting married, but prior to us getting married and like all this stuff, there was all this stuff about if something say, you know, God forbid, when mom and I first started dating six years ago, if something terrible would have happened to either one of us, they wouldn't let the other person into the hospital room because we weren't they weren't they didn't view our, they wouldn't have viewed our marriage as like legal. Luckily now we're starting to evolve and we don't have that issue. So I know that was kind of long, but those very prominent, distinctive, and powerful nine comments are why straight people don't need to have a pride. But there is a reason why people like us in the queer community are so passionate are so passionate about celebrating pride because of all those reasons. So. Go gays. The Warriors play today at five. Game one, or game three, but we're playing at home. And by we, I mean me too. <laughs> Up your clothes. <laughs> Girls. Okay, let's get ready so we can go to the pool because that's the whole reason why we came down here. That means you because I'm already ready. Best 
24 hours. That was so fun. Palm Springs. It we was so nice. A it was 106. It was great. <laughs> We're gonna do it more often. Yeah. It's nice to take a break from In California, work. you can go to the beach, and you can go to the snow, and you can go to the lake, and you can go to the desert. Yeah, you wanna go on. All in one day, if you wanted to. And it was just, that's why we figured it's so expensive to live out here. It's the amenities, California's amenities. Oh my goodness. Where are you buddy? Okay, bye.